welcome back. You're watching the Rera special on Urban Reality. We are taking a look at what are the dilutions within state Reras. What are the buyers really worried about? Are there any dilutions or not? I've got Gitama Ranand here with me, who's been patiently hearing all the questions and the answers. And Gitamba, you still don't believe that there are dilutions. But Manisha, Gitamba, there are a Manisha, lot Manisha. and a lot of gaps, you know. 60% rule can be used, misused. Sunil, would you agree? It can be used and misused. If a good developer, he will not misuse it. But if a, if a developer is an errant developer, he might want to, you know, use that parameter to get away <coughs> from rare provisions. Are you saying that there are no dilutions at all? Manisha, you know... Uh, if from the Central Act? May I? May I? Hmm. So, so if industry feels, and let me tell Mr. Abhay that every developer is not a defaulter and every developer is not a cheat. There are good developers who, do, who delivered good projects where people are living happily. Let me tell you that. So please understand that you have to have okay. a very, but please Manish, okay. that you have to have a very practical approach that this industry doesn't stop. You have to understand that industry also has certain problems in actually executing projects. So certain things have to be made realistic and practical. So don't call that dilution. The object of RERA is to make sure that a customer gets delivery of the apartment he had booked in the uh, shape and form he was promised. Will it do that? Will it, it will. Do that? How? It will. Manisha, we have How? to have a grandfathering period. It's just come out. Many states didn't even know what rules to make, so they just had to cut, copy, paste what the union territories did. Okay. We are just a month into, I mean, the, the deadline has just okay. expired. So you're Let's give it, some... it will happen? It will 100%. happen. All the stuck projects, whether all, it's all a JP saying, Wish Town or other projects, Manisha, they will happen because will it, get delivered? you know that in Noida they were calling each and every developer, yes. be it JP, boy, be it anybody else, to the authority to ask them for a delivery schedule, and these people were coming. Okay. They were giving delivery schedules. They're not running away. They're not fly by night. There have been problems. They admit that there's a problem. There is a problem which needs a solution. So we have to work at a solution. Sunil. Haryana, tell me, uh, are you say, sensing that the developers are likely to use any of the clauses? There has been a rush in the last, you know, rules were meant to come out in May, in June. And they finally came out in mid-July, right? Or actually, end of July, 31st, literally 31st. So what I'm asking you is, and there was a rush of applications for OCs. Is that going to be used to get away? It can be used, you know, Manisha. But I'm really not sure about the definition. The Haryana definition has been drafted very poorly. I must confess over here. So AR. it has been drafted poorly? Yes. Okay. And it, there is no clarity. In, if I read it technically over there, it, there is no clarity whether application only if applied for will be exempted from on uh, registration. Hmm. I feel if you have applied and you've got part OC or part CC, then only you are exempted simply because you've applied for, you will be exempted. I don't think so. If I correctly read the definition. All right. So Haryana... There are grey areas. I'm going to come to you, Sudeep, and ask you, all this act was meant to help buyers stuck in delayed projects. As you're seeing several states come out with their rules, do they give you confidence that RERA will now get those buyers their homes? Very simple question. You see, uh, with or without RERA, the consumers could go to, go to various forums, consumer courts, and get their reliefs. So RERA will not really change much, excepting now it gives provision to the buyers in an ongoing project to stay in the project in the event of delay and get interest, or to walk out of the project and get back his principal interest and compensation. Compensation as determined by the adjudicating authority. So this is this is something which, which is new that a buyer will still get interest at a given rate. Previously, what we used to see was an agreement uh, which would provide the developer giving a compensation at a very low rate. And where if the buyer was defaulting in payment, there would have been a very high rate of interest. Now, both parties will have to pay same rate of interest for, uh, for delay in either delivery or delay in payment. So this is, this is something new. And uh, uh, the second part is that if, uh, if a buyer chooses to walk out from the project, then he will, besides its principal and interest, he will also get a compensation. So you're saying that definitely in terms of compensation, the buyer can expect better compensation. The buyer can also walk out of a project if the project is delayed. Now, the question is, Milind, will it happen? Will, will, I mean, how long will it take for all of this to actually play out? 
I am uh, extremely confident that ARERA, ARERA will be implemented at least in Maharashtra to the fullest sense uh, for a very simple reason that we have got a very upright officer in place at the hands of the all the affairs. So as far as Maharashtra is concerned, I am strongly believe that this will really happen. Secondly, I a little bit differ from what Sudeep uh, just now was saying that it's only a question of the paying equal amount of interest and the compensation from either of the parties. ARERA differs on so many other counts from the earlier laws which were in place. The foremost important thing is RERA offers a platform, online platform, to get the entire information of the project which was totally absent in any other uh, legislations earlier uh, prior to RERA. Secondly, there is a provision to even take over the entire project uh, by the authority and hand it over to the, some other developer, of course, with the consultation of the state government. This kinds of harsh power, enabling powers at the hands of the competent authority were nowhere seen in any other laws. Thirdly, this has got a, a limit of 60 days to adjudicate the whole matter. The, certainly, we had the Consumer Protection Act, but you can see that the consumer cases lying in the forums of the state commissions or the national commissions taking it uh, to four years, five years, or maybe 10 years down the line. So to that extent, RERA is certainly differ, different than other uh, consumer protection acts or any other law for the sake. That's true. It also depends a lot on regulator, but the provisions at least make, uh, make it a little bit more or a lot more even playing field for the buyers. Murli, very short, do you think that the buyers stuck in any delayed project in Karnataka or South of India where you operate, including the Tamil Nadu market, now have a better chance of getting their homes delivered after RERA. Melinda said we are very exactly correct. See, it all depends on the enforcing authority. If the enforcing authority is like any other authority, what they have been behaving all these days has no meaning. If the enforcing authority is good, if you can really enforce the law, the RERA Act and various other acts which are prevailing, consumer will benefit. If the enforcing authority is not going to act, then the consumer will not benefit. I'm afraid we have to completely wrap out of this show. Sunil Tyagi, Gitambar Anand, Murli, Milind, Sudip and Abhay Opadhyay, thank you very much for joining us today. Well, Reda was meant to give stuck buyers a stronger voice and address all their grievances, but at the end of it, its effectiveness will remain a question unless you have regulators who want to make it work, is what we are taking away. We'll keep the focus on Reda continued through the year to make sure that we don't lose uh, focus and make sure that it actually works for stuck buyers. Thank you very much for joining me on Urban Reality.